Okay. Um, hi, everybody. So there are a lot of people who are having uh, trouble getting their uh, Final Fantasy XI Horizon uh, controller to work. Um, the, the issue seems to be that a lot of people can get it to work in the configuration, but when they actually open the launcher, or I mean, open the game, they are unable to uh, have their controller work. Uh, the inputs are not working for the accept or decline screen. So um, I'm going to try to walk you through how to fix that. This should work in most circumstances. You might have a issue that uh, is something else that this will not fix, but this should fix most people's problems. So uh, we have our launcher on. Let me pull the launcher up. So we have our launcher here. Uh, so um, first thing you need to do is set up your game pad. So I already have mine set up. So if you are using certain controllers, um, have different settings. So you need to make sure you use what you, I'm using the Xbox 360 controller. So I have X input enabled, and then you set up your keys however you want, set up your movement camera and menus, and then go to test gamepad. Now, when you get here, if you see how this is working, this is working, working, and my buttons are working. If you can get to the point where it is your gamepad is working in test, then you we can move on to the actual part of this guide. So you have it working in test, but when you launch the game, you can't click accept. This is what you're going to do, and bear with me. So number one, now that you have this gamepad set up and it's working inside the test configuration, you're going to do two things. First, I'm going to open a notepad. And then I'm going to uh, click here. I'm going to type registry editor. And you're going to go to your registry editor, which is this, okay? You're going to uh, H key local machine. You're going to go to uh, system. Oh, no, software. Software. You're going to go to WOW 6432 node. You're going to go to Square Enix. Never mind. Disregard. You're going to go to Play Online US. Sorry, I'm uh, I'm watching this guide, but I'm trying my best. Play Online US. You're going to go to now. You're going to go to Square Enix, and then you're going to click Final Fantasy XI. Now here you're going to have your uh, your registry. So if you scroll down to the bottom, you're going to see two things: Pad Mode and Pad and and Pad Send. So this is why you have your notepad open. First, you're gonna to go to pad mode and you're gonna click modify. And see this string value here? You're going to copy that and paste it into your notepad. Then you're gonna cancel. You're gonna to go to pad sin, modify. You're gonna copy this and you're gonna paste it here. And these are your settings inside of the game configuration that are working in the launcher in your game configuration when you hit test. So this is your buttons, how you have them set up, All right? Okay, now that we have those, we don't need to have the registry editor open anymore. So next step is we're going to go to our actual um, Horizon XI uh, install. I have mine installed directly on the C drive, but you need to go to wherever you have it installed. And then you go to game, you're going to go to config, you're going to go to boot and then you got this file here called horizonxi.ini you're going to right click on that and you're going to edit in notepad i'm going to pull it over here once you get here you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom and at the bottom you're going to see your familiar friends pad mode and pad sin so you're going to take your configuration here and you're going to replace pad mode numbers with these numbers. I've already put them in there, but I'm just doing this so you can see what you need to do. Then copy your pad sid numbers here, and you're going to replace the ones you have here with those. And that's not it. Wait. After you paste those in, you're going to make sure you do put a period at the end of the pad sid numbers. And then you're going to save. Okay, now we're done here. So you can close that. So the last step is we're going to go to our uh, 
uh, roaming profile. So you're going to click uh, search again and you're going to type uh, percent sign app data percent sign and hit enter. And when you get here, you're going to go to Horizon Launcher. And then right here you have config.json. You're going to right click on that. You're going to hit uh, plus. I mean, you're going to open up in your editor. I use Notepad++. I don't know what you use. You can use whatever you want. But I find Notepad++ to be the best for me. Uh, you're going to, I'm going to do a search. It's just control F. I'm just going to go to pad mode so I can find it. Okay, here's pad mode 000. zero, zero. So what I need to do now is I need to change this to be um, these. So what I have to do is I'm going to go here. I'm going to remove quotation mark zero, zero. I'm going to replace it with this. I'm going to put an enter after each one of these. And then I'm going to go to this, I'm going to copy pad sin, and my value is going to be, first I'm going to put an open bracket, enter, paste those numbers, enter, close bracket. And then I'm going to save this. Then I'm going to close it. I'm done with that. So now we're going to click play horizon. Um, that actually opened on my other screen. I mean, decline. Sorry for this. So let me open the launcher again. So uh, let's see here, here. Uh, let's change it to windowed. Uh, there we go. Okay. Now I'll be able to move it. So play horizon. We're going to move this over here so you can see it. And now if I try to use my gamepad, it works. I can click accept. I mean, the servers aren't up yet, but I can hit accept. And that's it. That should be, everything should work. Um, if uh, your text inside of, hold on, let's go back here. So the depending on uh, what went wrong or, or what kind of controller you're using, your text inside of here could look um, really uh, look could, could look a little bit different than mine. Just make sure you type it out exactly how this is. Not not these buttons. Use whatever buttons you have, but um, make just uh, make sure it looks you know similar to that. Hope that helps. Have a good one.